Good afternoon. Is everybody here? Are we missing anybody? We can wait. We can wait. Well, after that piano prelude, I don't think anybody's awake. That's you know. So we'll, have to, we'll wake you up on the on the processional just 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 to warn you. Okay. I hope everything's well. We just had our first uh, uh, choir camp last night. First evening choir camp. Had a bunch of kids there over in the parish hall. A bunch of balloons and pizza and singing, and it was a blast. We'd love to see you all there. We're having it again tonight. Just to let you know, so you can you can go ahead and come on if you want. All right. At this mass. We want to remember uh, the repose of the soul of Charlie Samayoa. Isn't that right? We're always so happy to see people coming during the week. You know, that's, that's always such a blessing to us. It's on Sunday you see everybody come because they're all panicked about all the sin that's been piling up on them since, you know, the last time they were at Mass. But if you come on Wednesday, it means because hopefully you enjoy being here. Right, Linda? Yes? No? Yes? Thank you very much. You enjoy being here. And that's great. Isn't it great to be in the house of the Lord? There is a blessing for you today somewhere in this Mass. Maybe you'll be blessed every second of the Mass. You'll certainly be blessed every second that Diana is singing. But besides that, we have these readings and we have the homily, and then, of course, the Eucharist. So we hope that you'll pay attention. We want you to keep our question of the week in mind. That's the question of the week theme. Just to see if your attention, just to see if I got your attention there. Keep the question of the week in mind. These questions have been mulled over by experts who duped it out ideologically to find out the absolute perfect wording to give you a, a question that will be so thought-provoking it'll last until the next one. And here it is. How has compassion moved you to action? How has compassion moved you to action? I'm always astounded by those YouTube videos where the entire fire department comes out to save a duckling who's gone down the drain. You ever seen those on YouTube? You ever seen those films? They're amazing. Just look up famous savings. There's kittens up trees. There's tons of them on YouTube. I mean, the entire fire department, police will come out to try to save these, these creatures. Would that we had just that amount of compassion for our fellow man, huh? Wouldn't that be great? Well, listen, just so there are no strangers among us, why don't you stand up, turn to the person next to you and say, how has compassion moved you to action this week?
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, gathered together to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we first call to mind our sin. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace. That made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, we may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The children of Israel set out from Elam and came into the desert of Sin, which is between Elam and Sinai, on the 15th day of the second month after their departure from the land of Egypt. Here in the desert, the whole assembly of the children of Israel grumbled against Moses and Aaron. The children of Israel said to them, Would that we had died at the Lord's hand in the land of Egypt, as we sat by our flesh pots and ate our fill of bread. But you had to lead us into this desert to make the whole community die of famine. Then the Lord said to Moses, I will now rain down bread from heaven for you. Each day, the people are to go out and gather their daily portion. Thus will I test them to see whether they follow my instructions or not. On the sixth day, however, when they prepare what they bring in, let it be twice as much as they gather on the other days. Then Moses said to Aaron, tell the whole congregation of the children of Israel, present yourselves before the Lord, for he has heard your grumbling. When Aaron announced this to the whole assembly of the children of Israel, they turned toward the desert and lo, the glory of the Lord appeared in the cloud. The Lord spoke to Moses and said, I have heard the grumbling of the children of Israel. Tell them, in the evening twilight, you shall eat flesh, and in the morning, you shall have your fill of bread, so that you may know that I, the Lord, am your God. In the evening, quail came up and covered the camp. In the morning, a dew lay all about the camp. And when the dew evaporated, there on the surface of the desert were fine flakes like hoarfrost on the ground. On seeing it, the children of Israel asked one another, What is this? For they did not know what it was. But Moses told them, This is the bread which the Lord has given you to eat. The word of the Lord.
According to Matthew. On that day, Jesus went out of the house and sat down by the sea. Such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat down, and the whole crowd stood along the shore. And he spoke to them at length in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground, where it had little soil. It sprang up at once, because the soil was not deep, and when the sun rose, it was scorched, and it withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell upon thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it. But some seed fell on rich soil and produced root a hundred or sixty or thirty fold. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The Gospel of the Lord. Uh, During Lent in the Liturgy of the Hours, we begin probably the first four weeks or so hearing from the book of Exodus as we have today. Uh, And it's uh, this constant pattern there of wonderful things being done for the people, but then their response normally is to complain. And that's what we have today. Wandering in the desert, they started getting hungry and they complained over and over again, complain, complain. The problem is they kept forgetting what had been done for them. Because in the, that, those readings from the book of Exodus, we hear, of course, the wonders that took place in Egypt, the, the plagues that they were spared from, huh? especially the final plague of the death of the firstborn. We hear of the passage through the Red Sea, 
the destruction of Pharaoh's forces in the, the Red Sea as well, and, and, and so on. This guiding by this cloud, uh, fire seen in it at night during the day, just this dark cloud that led, led them, all these wonders around them, but they kept forgetting. And so too, the message then for us, huh? do not forget the works of the Lord, as uh, one of our responsorial psalms says, do not forget the works of the Lord. When we are in difficulties, when troubles beset us, when indeed hard times come, and they will all the time, we will experience hard times. It's for us to remember, huh? to remember all the good that God has done for us all the many blessings that we have received from his hand. And especially as we have heard in today's reading with this gift of the manna, this meal that he sets before us, in which we are fed with none other than his very son. Together now, let us lift our voices in prayer for our own needs, the needs of the entire church, and of those who have asked us to pray for them. For the church on her journey of faith, may God's word guide and nourish her, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of nations and communities called to shepherd God's people, May the Spirit of the Lord lead them, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who hunger and those who produce the harvest, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, may God bless our gathering this day to be fed in word and sacrament, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. <coughs> For all the faithful departed, especially Charlie Semiyoa, for whom this Mass is offered, call home to the, to the, at the end of their lives of their, on their faith journey, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And once again, please, in the quiet of your heart, add your needs and the prayers that others have entrusted to you. For all these needs, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, through the intercession of your priest and doctor, Lawrence of Brindisi, hear the prayers that we bring to you in the name of your son, Jesus, who lives and reigns, God forever. Not to temptation, deliver us. 
Pray now that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and good of all God's holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion the varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants. Make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created us, and when we were justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed us through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna. of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, from profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory John, our Bishop 
his brother bishops Bernard and Joel and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord. And lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We're about to begin exposition with the Eucharistic hymn and, and sensation. If you wish to depart, may do so now. 